What's going on, everybody? It is your favorite, favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Jocelyn's <laughs> Cabaret. Y'all already know, I love this god dog on review. <laughs> I love doing this review for this show. Y'all, before we get into this review, normal church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, please, please, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all, parental advisory, let you know right now, okay? We gonna do some cursing in this here review. Cause, Cause if you done seen the last one, y'all already know Joss's cabaret. <laughs> it's all about the hoes, okay? <laughs> it's all about the hoes. So if 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 you don't want to hear about them hoes, you you see them hoes, you don't love them hoes, you don't want you don't want no nothing about them hoes. Then this might not be the review for you, cause this particular episodes these this show. It's all about the hoes. That's just what it is. So, if you, like I said, if, if you don't want to hit them hoes, you see them hoes, you don't love them hoes. This not, might not be the review for you. But if you like me, <laughs> you ready to get into, you ready to hear about these hoes and the crazy stuff these hoes was doing, y'all. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's go ahead and get right up into it. All right, y'all. So, this episode picks up where the last one left off. It, it was the light skin holes versus the dark skin holes. Daisy and Chastity are the light skin holes. Jay and Lucky are the dark skin holes. Now they was arguing over who got the strongest hole game. Um, Chastity and and Daisy said that that y'all some cheap holes that that you you wear bell bottoms, and and Lucky and and Jay say well y'all 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 some holes too. But y'all do y'all hold different. And it was just, you know, I was like, okay, y'all all hoes. So, how's what whole game trumps the next? You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I, 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 I really didn't get the basis of the argument. But it was just basically over who whole game is stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you a back page hoe. You a flat back bitch. You, 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 you this hoe, you that hoe. I was like, now, nah, everybody's a hoe ho. So what's the damn difference, y'all? They fighting, security had to come break it up. Now, this is what I'm thinking here. Daisy, you supposed to be the bottom bitch. What kind of bottom bitch is you? You supposed to be keeping all these other hoes in line, but instead, you in the middle of all of this drama that's going on. I don't need you to be the stand-up bottom bitch that she puts you in the position that you're supposed to be in. And you're supposed to lead these hoes to victory. You ain't supposed to be in the middle arguing with everybody else over who whole game is stronger than the next. We trying to put this money in the pot for the family. And you out here, you gonna fuck up the game. Jocelyn came on up in the got dog on uh, dressing room where they was at arguing. She was like, look here. You know, she had to get these hoes a pep talk. Like, look here. We trying to do this for the family. I'm not going to keep putting up with none of y'all hoes. Because look here. We can't have this in the house of, of the Jocelyn's cabaret. She's steady trying to get them to see the bigger picture. Trying to talk that pimp shit in their ear. Like, look here. We got to put this money together. We got to change our attitudes. Because, see, you got to save all of this here right you got for them tricks out there. You got to get this money for them tricks. You know what I'm saying? Because what y'all doing right here, y'all going to fuck up the game. Let's go get us a bottle. Let's go pop it. Let's go get this money for these tricks. So, Jocelyn and um the other, what's the other Big booty stripper, uh, Sapphire, her and Lucky, they all leave out go to dance floor because they finna go get this money for these tricks. So, Chastity and Daisy, they still in the, in the locker room and Jay is there, right? Now, again, I can't show y'all no clips from this show because it's ass and titties throughout the whole episode. They are in the dressing room, these three females, butt naked, arguing. Still over who whole game is better than the next. Daisy then starts to make an ass clap, say, I can make a round of applause with my ass for you and and cause I'm the bottom bitch and and, and I'm I'm the baddest hoe. I'm like, y'all. 
Now, y'all know your auntie say, I love, I love me some good ratchet shit now. I love me some good... You know what? I think I may have um, met my match. This might be a little bit more ratchet than I'm used to. I was like, oh, whoa. Uh, did she just... And it really, like, it was... I was like, oh, my. Wow. Okay. So once they get out there on the dance floor, it seemed like it's really just Jocelyn and her fiance ballistic that's out there in the crowd. So all five of the girls is up there and they performing for Jocelyn and ballistic and they just going off doing their best tricks and this, that, and the other, you know, <laughs> doing, doing, doing a bunch of whole shit. And then all the girls is telling all their stories like, you know, Lucky is saying how you know, she's out here hustling, trying to do what she got to do to survive. And Chastity is telling her story. And Daisy saying how she had to start off from the bottom and work her way up to be the bottom bitch that she is now. She had to learn the game and the stripping game. Like, they all just basically telling their stories about how they came up in the whole game and how they came to be the established hoes that they are right now. That it's not easy, that they had to go through some trials and some tribulations to get to the hoes that they are right now. Now, Sapphire, she seemed like the coolest one out of all of them. And then you notice, you don't hear her up in, in none of this drama. It's just them other four chicks. The, the light skin hoes versus the dark skin hoes. Sapphire is right in the middle. She the brown skin hoe and she ain't fucking with none of them. She like, look here. All y'all hoes is crazy. I'm a silent hoe. I got a big old booty and I'm just out here trying to get my damn money. I don't care about them, but none of these other, I don't love them other hoes. <laughs> okay? I only love this hoe. And I'm trying to get out here and do what the hell I got to do. Now the next day, Jocelyn and Ballistic, they're at their house and they're having breakfast and of course they're talking about everything that happened in the club the, night, the club the night before. Ballistic said he could hear everything that was happening from the dressing room all the way to where he was sitting out there on... Probably in front of the stage or whatever. And so Jocelyn is telling him everything that happened, how all, all the holes got into it with each other. And Ballistic is like, basically, you need to give him another chance because you never know what all these girls been through, how many people have already threw them away. So just give him another chance. He suggests that um, Jocelyn takes them to a classy restaurant to try to show them classy things to teach them how to be classy females. Now, I thought, now... I don't think that's a good idea because these hoes ain't got no home training. Then Jocelyn also said she was pissed off at Daisy because she told Daisy something in confidentiality about Lucky. Now, apparently, wherever Lucky was living, she damn near caught the building on fire, ended up losing her house. Now she's homeless. She's staying with a sugar daddy. And, you know, she, she, she doesn't have a car, this, that, and the other. That was something that Jocelyn, basically, she went and kikied and told that to Daisy. Daisy knowing that she don't like Lucky and she doesn't like Jay, she goes and she throws that back in Lucky's face. And that actually hurt Lucky's feelings because she's like, look here, I don't know this bitch and for this bitch to be throwing up my personal shit in my face like that, bitch, you supposed to be a bottom bitch. You supposed to comfort and uplift the other hoes but instead she gonna throw my struggles in my face? Like, bitch, who would you? So Ballistic ends up talking Jocelyn into giving these hoes a second chance. She says she's going to take them to a classy restaurant. Hopefully these bitches don't end up breaking all these white people's stuff in there. You know they're going to be in somewhere real, real nice. Please don't get to throwing drinks and knocking shit over and, and busting glasses and stuff. These white folks, they don't need to see all of that kind of side of us, right? So then Jocelyn asked Ballistic, Lord, that's how I know. I was like, this shit right here. Lord have mercy. She tells him she wants a threesome. He's like, um, well, I, I <laughs> no, I'm not making this up. This is for real. This is what Jocelyn says. I'm dead ass, dead ass. She tells him she wants to threesome. Melissa is like, look here, I don't, I don't think we can do that because, you know, you're kind of crazy and I don't want to be like, you know, give it to the other female real good. And then you get mad and you come up, you start hauling off, you start beating everybody ass. And Jocelyn's like, well, yeah, that could be a possibility. Yeah, you're right. We probably shouldn't do that or whatever. I'm like, damn, what the... Then she asked about the wedding. When are they going to get married? This nigga say, um, as soon as we get our tickets to the moon, or to out, out of space, or to Mars. This nigga wants to get married in space. In other words, nigga, you don't want to get married. Because, nigga, you ain't going to never go to goddamn space. So you ain't never going to get fucking married. 
That's what it is, Jocelyn. Jay and Lucky end up going to the nail shop, get their nails done, because they broke their nails when they were sitting up here messing around with these other $2 assholes, like they call them. They're talking about everything that happened in the uh, club the night before, and they're basically saying how they want to get with Jocelyn and this whole cabaret idea, but at the same time, they don't like these other hoes because they got the slick-ass mouth and they're not with none of that shit, right? Lucky says that, you know, she got the text message from Jocelyn that she wants to have this fancy little dinner with everybody tonight. Um, Jay said that's cool because it's a couple of things that she needs to get off her chest any damn way she want to let these hoes know. Lucky says she wants to let Daisy know that what you said was wrong, especially for you throwing my situation up in my face like that. Bitch, you supposed to be a bottom bitch. You supposed to be there for me, ho, and that ain't nothing that you fucking did, and I don't appreciate that shit. Jay says she can't stay too long because uh, she got to catch a date. That's guaranteed money. That's one of her regulars. She got to go out there, bust wide open, and get this money. Lucky says she can't stay too long either because she got to go back to the sugar daddy house, do whatever she can do, got to give daddy some sugar so she can get her little old money. They like, all right, cool. So Daisy ends up going over to Chazity's house. Now, Daisy and Chazity... They cool, but they kind of frenemies is kind of what I get from that. Because on the very first episode, Jocelyn asked Daisy about Chazity. And Daisy kind of made this little face like Chazity. Yeah, she... Mm. But when Chazity um, had invited Daisy over to her house, they were sitting back, you know, talking shit about everybody. Talking about shit about all the girls and about Jocelyn too. Now, Daisy does admit that she should not have went back and repeated anything that Jocelyn told her about the whole situation that Lucky is going through. But she was being so cocky and so conceited, she was too busy running her damn mouth trying to throw jabs at the other girl that she didn't give a damn what she was saying, right? So then in the next thing you know, Chastity starts to say to Daisy, like, well, if you were a real bottom bitch that you would do this and you would keep them, these hoes in line and you can't keep these hoes in line and you can't do this. Like, they kind of sort of start taking jabs back and forth at one another. That's why I say they frenemies. Because one minute they cool, next minute they kind of saying little shit. But they are mean girls. Like, they like to go at it and make fun of Jay and Lucky because they feel like they're not up to their standards. They're not up to their part. That's just because they, 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 they're they very stuck up and conceited. Beautiful girls. But it's in the inside that makes them ugly as hell. Then Chastity suggests to Daisy that since she can't get Jocelyn to basically take her word and kick um, Jay and Lucky out and get some other girls in. Chastity then says, you know what? Well, it's up to us to run them other bitches out. So basically, again, like I said, they're going to be some mean girls and try to run them off. Child, Chastity then makes a statement to Daisy about her boobs being big. As we know, Daisy just had a baby a year ago. Daisy like, yeah, I'm still breastfeeding my son. Child, that damn Chazity was like, oh, really? So you have milk in them. Let me see. This heifer Daisy takes her boob out, starts squirting breast milk around a damn apartment. Say, what the fuck is this? Are you serious? She pops, pops that sucker out like Lula Bell starts squirting breast milk around everywhere. I'm not lying, y'all. She told Chazity, open her mouth up. She squirting it all in Chazity mouth. Squirted it all on the doggone window. Breast milk. Squirting it around like a super soaker out her titty. I said, what in the mother's milk is going on here? Bitch, are you really squirting your child's food? Bitch, you having a food fight in here? Are you serious? And then squirted on this girl. When, and and Chazzy thought it was just the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, is he scared? Ah! It was just the funniest thing to her. Now, listen. I'm not saying it's disgusting. I'm not saying that. Bitch, what I am saying is, what are we doing? Yeah, she squirted breast assist milk all on this girl window, all across the apartment. Straighten that girl mouth. 
Y'all, Jocelyn ends up sitting down in this fancy-ass restaurant with these four ratchet-ass females. Now, when they walk up, Jocelyn was already sitting down. Jocelyn, like, annoyed. She already pissed off. She didn't want to get up, greet no damn body. Well, nobody finna get no goddamn kiss and no hug. She was mad, right? Puerto Rican princess was mad. Immediately, when the hoes sit down, the light-skinned hoes start going at the dark-skinned hoes. Dark-skinned hoes don't get fucked by the light-skinned hoes. East Coast versus West Coast. North versus South, these hoes start immediately going at it, arguing, you a bum, you this, you that. Jocelyn could not get a word in. I was getting so damn annoyed because it was a whole pointless ass argument over nothing. Just because the, the Chastity and Daisy, they were just being mean. Just being straight up mean to Jay and Lucky for no damn reason. They had no, no reason to be like that to them girls whatsoever. Finally, Jay like, look here, I'm sick of this shit. I got a whole goddamn, I gotta go catch a date. I got money to make. I'm not finna sit here and go back and forth with these bitches. I'm out here trying to live my best whole life. And they messing up my whole stroll that I got to get on right now. So Jay gets up and she leaves. Jocelyn then goes after Jay. And child, the episode ends from there with Daisy and Chazity sitting up there like two cackling ass goddamn hens being fucking bullies while Lucky is sitting there at the table. Y'all, the episode ends from there. This episode, <laughs> baby, what I tell you, the, the shit surprises me. Every episode, it surprises me, okay? Last episode, we found out that this is really on some pimp shit. This episode, we see a bitch squirting her damn natural juices all around the damn Yahoo! If y'all seen this episode, if it was anything I missed, please drop it down below and let me know. <laughs> please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's going on, y'all? Look here. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Comment on this video. All of that good stuff. And if ain't nobody else told you today, I sure enough love you and I sure enough appreciate you.